Now on Good Morning Northwest, does former President Donald Trump have immunity from prosecution? The special counsel is going to extreme measures to get that answer. Another cool day, lots of clouds, there's patchy fog. We got a few changes coming our way, the when and where coming up. And a student group worked to revise Coeur d'Alene School District's dress code policy. Why and did their work pay off? You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Glad you're with us. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Natalie Grant. It is Tuesday, December 12th. Let's toss things over right over to Mark here to take a look at what we're expecting for the day. How are we looking, Mark? All right, looking pretty good. We're going to be above average. In fact, we're there now. Um, our average high this time of year is 35 degrees. We're there, but we're going to warm up. Um, we do have, again, that low cloud deck that's going to stay with us, and we do have some patchy fog out there. It's not been a huge issue today. Here's your cozy picture, and there is why we have it. The clouds and the fog that are going to be with us. Uh, patchy ice uh, possible on those untreated roadways. It's going to be above average all week with daytime highs. Overnight lows are going to get cold into the mid-20s, and we're going to see a chance of showers on Thursday. Now, we're looking at good visibility and not a lot of fog in our region. That's the good news. News. As you head north into the protected valleys, you see a little more. Highs day are going to be in the mid to upper 30s, low 40s throughout the central basin. We're going to see uh, Lewiston again at 47 degrees, a lot like yesterday. Uh, pretty fair weather there. For us, well, that low cloud deck is going to stay with us. Air quality is good. And again, that high today is going to be 37 degrees. The special counsel investigating former President Donald Trump's role in the January 6th attack is now asking the Supreme Court to decide whether or not Trump has immunity. At issue is whether a president is immune from prosecution for crimes committed while in office. Let's get to Sydney Charles at the Breaking Now desk with the latest details from Washington, D.C. That's right. This morning, special counsel Jack Smith is asking the Supreme Court to quickly rule on former President Donald Trump's claim that he has immunity from prosecution of anything he did while in in office, specifically his role in the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Now, a lower court already rejected Trump's claim of absolute immunity, but Trump appealed. The appeal process could delay the trial past the 2024 election. In response, Smith is now turning to the Supreme Court, completely bypassing the appeals court. Such a request for quick consideration and quick ruling on such a major issue is highly unusual, but it is not without precedent. Uh, back during the Watergate era, of course, uh, the court ruled and ruled in a very much expedited manner uh, that President Nixon could not use executive privilege to keep Congress from getting access to his Oval Office tapes. Now, in a separate filing, Smith's office says at the trial, it plans to call three experts to review data from Trump's phone. That data includes periods of time when Trump's Twitter app was open during the January 6th attack. The Trump campaign accuses Smith of trying to interfere in the 2024 election. Right now, Trump is the clear front runner for the Republican nomination, and new polls show him leading President Joe Biden in a hypothetical matchup in two key battlegrounds. The Supreme Court has given Trump Trump's legal team until next Wednesday to respond to Jack Smith's request for a ruling on the immunity claim. Now, coming up in the next half hour, we continue to follow details on Capitol Hill, where a key meeting is set to take place today regarding funding for the multiple wars overseas. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Thank you, Sydney. Well, the House has passed a bill aimed at improving health care transparency and affordability. The Lower Cost, More Transparency Act passed easily with a final vote of 320 to 71. Now, if signed into law, it would act like more of an enforcer to Trump administration's transparency rules. It's supposed to drive down medical care costs for Americans at a time when inflation has such a stronghold on the economy. A Washington State Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers helped champion this act. Over 90% of Americans believe that we should know what the price is. You think about how inflation is driving up the cost of our gas, our groceries. We're able to shop around and, and know uh, where we can get the best value for the money that we're spending. Now, the bill could also save patients from paying two to three times more for the same medical services when they're performed at a hospital rather than in a doctor's office. The bill still needs to make it through the Senate before heading to President Biden's desk. 
The Department of Justice claims a Spokane property management company stole hundreds of thousands of dollars from a federal COVID relief program. According to the DOJ, All Star Management, owned by Jeeve Parker, fraudulently received funds from the Emergency Rent Assistance Program. That's a program meant to help tenants struggling to pay rent. The company received the money by saying more than 30 tenants were behind on rent when in reality, all of them made their payments on time. The DOJ also claims the company inflated rent amounts that were higher than the tenant's actual rent. The U.S. District Attorney released a statement reading, Landlords and property management companies need to play by the rules, especially when they claim precious and limited rent assistance funds intended to protect members of the community struggling under the weight of the deadly pandemic. This is a developing story. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. Well, the Federal Reserve is expected to pause interest rate increases following its final meeting of the year this week. And there's even growing speculation the Fed is close to cutting rates, ending its aggressive campaign to lower the overheated economy and tame historic inflation. The Federal Reserve also needs to understand that we cannot continue to create a social divide of winners and losers uh, with this division widening further and further uh, because it could lead to societal instability. Now, recent reports showing inflation slowing in the economy cooling is why some economics, economists expect key rates to be cut at some point within the next few months. In North Idaho News, an update to a story we brought you yesterday out of Coeur d'Alene. The school board has voted to change its dress code policy. The new policy was created at the direction of students who said the old policy was difficult to enforce and had unproductive disciplinary actions. The new rule states students must wear tops and fully cover that fully cover them, among other things, and changes some of the language of the dress code that said uh, some said was directed toward girls. It also makes changes to how the dress code is enforced, including no longer removing students from the classroom for violating the dress code. It is now seven minutes after six o'clock. Let's check back in with Mark Peterson who's looking over our air quality that we got going on for today. We're in good air quality for our valley, but to the north, we've got a couple areas where it's moderate air quality. We're going to see those fluctuate a little bit, but not by much. Uh, we're going to have a full check of the forecast to take a live look at One Spokane Stadium, which yesterday morning was white with snow. Now we see the green turf and your forecast coming up. Another downtown Spokane restaurant closes for good. Why Crave's owner says it's done. And the Ukrainian president arrives today for talks in Washington, D.C. Coming up next, how he'll make a direct plea from a help from a stalled Congress. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. The Tire Store for winter tires with no credit hassles. At the Tire Store, they'll let you split up your repair bill over a couple months. Get your car fixed today. ASC certified. Start an account with no credit check. Tire Store. Do you have property damage? Burke's Restoration provides full-service emergency response for residential and commercial disasters. Wind damage? Burke's can handle that. Is flooding your problem? Burke's Restoration knows just what to do. Fire or smoke damage? Call Burke's today. You didn't plan on a disaster, but you have a choice on who restores it. Choose the best. Burke's Restoration takes care of fire, smoke, wind, or water damage, and more. Tell your insurance company you choose Burke's Restoration. Call or click today. Attention, RV shoppers. R&R RV in North Spokane has just lowered prices on every motorhome, fifth wheel, and travel trailer in stock. Last year's models are slashed to the lowest clearance prices you will ever find. We're talking jaw-dropping savings on Montana, Rockwood, Cougar, Winnebago, and more. Don't delay. R&R RV's full clearance sale is on now. Quit dreaming. Just do it. Hurry to R&R RV to claim your new RV and save thousands. Shop indoors at R&R RV in North Spokane, 525 East Francis, or shop now at rnrrv.com. Join us on a holiday vacations tour. Explore Alaska on a Glacier Bay cruise June 4th to the 16th. We'll discover the cities of Anchorage and Fairbanks and enjoy a guided tour in Denali National Park. We'll also relax on a wonderful four-night cruise including Glacier Bay National Park. Visit HolidayVacations.com keyword Spokane for more information and to watch a travel show. Or call 888-557-1020 for a free brochure. 
One of my favorite programs is the People Helping People program. Any BECU member can nominate a nonprofit that they care about. We are so appreciative of BECU and their support for our program. One of our parents, who also happens to work here, was able to nominate us. Our service of the community really aligns well with BECU. Last year, we gave away three grants in Spokane. This year, we're slated to give away $525,000. Thanks to BECU, we are able to meet the needs of more families. The Tire Store for winter tires with no credit hassles. At the Tire Store, they'll let you split up your repair bill over a couple months. Get your car fixed today. ASC certified. Start an account with no credit check. Tire Store. At 610, here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is scheduled to meet with Senators, House Speaker Mike Johnson, and President Joe Biden today. This visit to D.C. comes as Congress is in a stalemate over the funding bill that has assistance that's earmarked for Ukraine. Now, this is President Zelensky's third trip to the U.S. since the start of the war with Russia over a year ago. He wants the U.S. to pass a supplemental national security package that would, in part, provide billions of dollars in aid to Ukraine. However, many were Republicans are pushing back, saying major concessions are needed regarding the surge of migrants at the U.S.'s southern border first. Jailed Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny is missing. Navalny was imprisoned in a penal colony east of Moscow. A spokeswoman for Navalny said that he was supposed to show up for a video link hearing from jail. He didn't show up. No explanation was given. It comes as President, uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin it has announced he will run again in the upcoming Re Russian presidential election. A dramatic scene in New York City has an apartment building partially collapsing just before dinner time last night and a terrifying moment was caught on camera. Crews say that they found no bodies in the rubble. Remarkable considering the seven story apartment building in the Bronx gave way in late afternoon with a deli occupying the bottom floor. The investigation has already uncovered seven building violations, none structural, but a report filed with the city in 2021 showed serious issues. Two people suffered minor injuries. At least 100 people have now have to find somewhere else to live. All right, good morning. Give me 10 seconds. I'll give you the forecast. It's going to be a cool, cloudy day. That about wraps it up. Uh, just grab a jacket. You want to be comfortable if you're out there and watch the slush and that shoe choice. 37 the high today. Now, places we gather to eat, drink, and have a good time are starting to shut their doors. Several Spokane restaurants and bars have now announced their last days in business. One of those restaurants is Crave. It's located on the corner of Riverside and Washington in downtown. Now, former Crave owner Jacob Miller says ultimately finances led to Crave's downfall. He says inflation and struggling to recover from COVID's impact were main reasons for this difficult decision. Now, in this is a statement shared by many small business owners. Washington is not cared for as others are in the state of Washington, so um, I feel like we're taking advantage of a little bit, but um, we just worked our butts off to make it work. Well, Miller says that he hopes a new owner will come along to carry on Crave's legacy. Your Good Morning Northwest time right now is 613. Victory over Google. Coming up, why Google lost a monopoly case against Fortnite maker Epic Games and why the decision is important to you even if you're not a gamer. Well, no fun and games here. Well, actually, maybe just a little bit of fun for you here. We have a lot coming up, uh, coming your way here on Good Morning Northwest. And as you check out this break, here's a live look at the downtown Spokane this morning as the lights are shining here. We'll see you right after this break. Sign up for the 4 News Now Daily Local at KXLY.com. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Did you know that Spokane Hyperbaric Center uses oxygen to reduce pain, inflammation, and swelling? I didn't know that. Did you know that hyperbaric oxygen therapy promotes new blood vessel growth, fights infection, and releases more stem cells from your bone marrow? I didn't know that. Would you like to know if Spokane Hyperbaric Center is the right choice for you? Go to hyperbarichope.com to find out. Spokane Hyperbaric Center gave us hope. And, and now you know. Stay safe while traveling this winter. Before you head out, trust the First Alert weather team to pinpoint the safest times to go and exactly what to expect. 4 News Now First Alert weather on air, on the app, and streaming on KXY+. 
Sorry about that car accident. Got that insurance claim check for you. I gotta call Swap. Ah! I gotta call Swap. Here you go. Ah, that's it? I'm calling him. You forgot your check. Craig Swap and Associates is on your side. We'll make sure you get the help you deserve, and we only get paid after you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. Find the perfect gift for your wine lover at Leita Creek. Stop in or shop online. We'll help you find your new favorite wine. Come in to Leita Creek today. Sip, shop, and ship most anywhere in the USA. Cheers. Experience the magic and share the joy at Disney's Frozen, the spectacular new musical. From the producer of The Lion King and Aladdin, this beloved story comes to life on stage in an unforgettable theatrical experience. You've never seen Frozen like this. Disney's Frozen is coming to First Interstate Center for the Arts, July 24th to August 4th. Don't be left out in the cold. Get tickets at broadwayspokane.com today. Ford News Now and BECU are teaming up to welcome in some holiday fun and friendly holiday spirit. Send us a picture of your pet decked out for the holidays and you could win a $200 Amazon gift card courtesy of BECU. For details, go to kxly.com slash holiday pets. It is 616. They are hitting the slopes of the summit at Snoqualmie. Look at that. Skiers are out in full force, having waited long enough for this moment. Finally enough snow to ski on the summit runs. Officials up there say because it's still early in the season, they recommend people be careful because of the thin snow coverage. They ask uh, skiers to look ahead and watch out for any kind of hazards lurking underneath. We all know what that's all about. Mm -hmm. As a... Uh, we hope to hit the slopes here. Yeah, I was going to say, back here in our area, mm. a little bit of a different situation we have out there. Oh, Not as much snow as such a bummer. they're lucky to get over there. That's where you bring out the rock skis. Okay? <laughs> That's that, that yep. early or late season pair of skis that mm -hmm. can get ripped up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing uh, the ski industry this year. Last year, of course, we had all that snow in November. Set them up beautifully for the season. This year, it's just been a completely change. And, of course, we talked about that mild, drier winter. And so far, we haven't even hit winter yet officially, but it has been both. So we're into the mid-30s right now, 36 into 9 Mile, 36 into the Valley. you got 35 into Coeur d'Alene. Um, you know, Rathroom, you're sitting just above freezing. We're going to hit highs today into the mid to upper 30s. A lot of upper 30s expected, 37 degrees. And we're going to see overnight lows. About average with some patchy fog, low cloud deck again, and 26 degrees. So we do have some melt and refreeze where it doesn't melt enough to dry. Some of the roads are dry after yesterday. Now, we look at the satellite and radar that we have, and currently we do have the low clouds. Uh, any moisture we see is right there on the Oregon line. That's all gone now. We do have another system that's starting to build. It's going to bring in more rain and snow for the Cascades, but not so much for eastern Washington. Washington, maybe a brief shower, and here's the timing on that. So we have, again, the low clouds, and that's going to be a continued trend for us all week long. We get in through Wednesday evening, still the same, still dry, um, those gray skies ahead. Then we see the chance of seeing some scattered showers coming in from that next short wave, and that's going to be Thursday morning. We're going to see the northern Cascades once again pick up quite a bit there with snow, but then it dissipates, moves north and around us. We dry out again for the weekend, and that's the setup. So Thursday morning, we have about a 30% chance of seeing some scattered showers, so it's not a lock. Highs today are going to be nearing 40 degrees uh, into the valley along the I-90 corridor. Um, 37 at uh, Spoke International officially. Uh, Fairchild maybe 36 degrees, so really not looking too bad. The planning forecast has these uh, mild conditions continuing all the way through the weekend with temperatures at or above average each and every day. We're going to have the cloud cover temperatures at night into the mid-20s. Now, Brought this up an hour ago. I'll bring it up again because I had a couple people ask me about a white Christmas, and it's not looking good. This is, again, Noah looking well in advance through Christmas, December 26th, Boxing Day, um, warmer than average. Mm -hmm. And then you add to that drier than normal. Oh, yeah. 
All right, and so we're going to see that combination really tells us that fresh snow mm -hmm. for Christmas is not looking good nope. at all. Fair or bad news over here. However, Easy now. if you're traveling, this is great news. It but is hey, good. That's That's wonderful point. news if you're going to be driving to Grandma's house. That's or a good flying. point. Yeah, it is now 619. Non-conference play is quickly coming to an end in college basketball. And the 10th ranked Zags were looking for a much needed win. We'll have highlights from last night's game with Mississippi Valley State coming up next in sports. Thanks for waking up with Good Morning Northwest on your Tuesday. We'll be right back. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. When it comes to luxury, standing out takes something special, something exceptional, something unique. We dare you to be unique. Just like each individual work of art, that is unique jewelry. Find unique jewelry at Tracy Jewelers. There is a place where magic seems to hide around every corner, where cherished memories are born in twinkling snowflakes, where enchanting adventures await all who explore. Where is this real-life winter wonderland? Nestled by the lake is Coeur d'Alene's Holiday Light Show, an experience you will never forget. Discover Santa's all-new North Pole with holiday getaways starting at only $250. Andy's Heating, Cooling, Electrical. Guarantees to keep your home safe and warm. Your comfort is Andy's priority. Get ready for the cold with a high-efficiency furnace from Carrier and turn to the experts. Andy's offers a wide range of top-quality heating systems that are both reliable and environmentally friendly. Andy's team of experts are highly trained and experienced, so you can trust Andy's to diagnose and fix any issue efficiently. Andy's Heating, Cooling, Electrical. Your trusted Carrier experts since 1972. This Christmas, treat yourself or a loved one to a new vehicle from Finley. With delayed payments for up to 90 days and bigger than normal trade-in values for your old ride. Giving you plenty of reasons to upgrade to a new RAV4, Tacoma, or Tundra truck. And if you're looking for a certified pre-owned vehicle, we've got lots of great choices for everyone. I'm looking for something sporty and fast. Don't you have somewhere to be? Ho, ho, ho. Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls has been North Idaho's premier flooring shop for over 30 years. From remodels to new construction, they've got your home or business covered from wall to wall. Their expert design team will work with you to find the perfect floor for your lifestyle and budget. They've got the lowest prices. From carpet and area rugs to hardwood, LVP and laminate, if you can dream it, they can floor it. Dream it. Design it. Live it. At Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls. When it comes to luxury, standing out takes something special, something exceptional, something unique. We dare you to be unique. Just like each individual work of art, that is unique jewelry. Find unique jewelry at Tracy Jewelers. Well, don't look now, but we are quickly approaching the end of the non-conference portion of the college basketball season. And for the 10th rank Gonzaga Bulldogs, they need to finish strong these next two weeks in order to improve their resume come selection Sunday. And after falling to three loss Washington on last Saturday, the team bounced back with a performance on Monday night, a 78-40 win against Mississippi Valley State. And while that's a blowout on paper, it was far from Gonzaga's best performance this season. They only shot less than 48% from the field and 20% from three-point range, but this game was never really in doubt as the Zags used their size and athleticism to go up by as many as 41 points. Instead, maybe you can chalk this performance up to the fact that they were on 48 hours rest, and these are college kids going through finals week. It's definitely been uh, an adjustment. I mean, uh, you know, the practice and game schedule is so rigorous here that, uh, you know, you got to find time to, you know, get your schoolwork done and, and uh, you know, study for your finals and stuff. But, uh, you know, I think I'm handling it pretty well. And, uh, yeah. Tomorrow we'll just kind of find a time of day when it, when it's open and then uh, we'll watch a little film and get some shots up. But it's mostly about just kind of taking care of business and finals and we'll, uh, you know, have two days to prep for a really, really good UConn team. So it will be a rematch of the Elite Eight on Friday night as Gonzaga travels out to Seattle to play the defending national champions, UConn, inside Climate Pledge Arena. The Huskies are currently sitting at 9-1 on the season and ranked fifth in the nation. Reporting in studio, I'm Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports.
We are loving the photos of your pets getting in the holiday spirit. You can submit yours to kxly.com slash holiday pets. One of your submissions will win a $200 Amazon gift card courtesy of the good folks at BECU. And let's take a look at another one here. This is snowy looking glamorous mm. surrounded by those string lights there underneath the tree. My cat does the same thing. Sits right underneath the tree. <laughs> she and the Hoffman family are wishing everyone a very happy holidays. And this little one, that, that, still snowy. Still wanted, snow. <laughs> we were hoping to show you Gabby. Maybe next time. Uh, you do have until the end of next month, pretty much the end of next month, yes. to submit photos. And again, you could win a gift card. And there's a big gallery online, too, where you can check them all so out fun. there. There's, there's some really cute ones. Definitely worth sure your time. Are. It is now uh, 625. Still to come this morning, unsustainable. That's what one Spokane animal shelter is calling the current upkeep for one local dog park. Why it's now giving up the reins and letting the city take over. Plus, as additional funding for Ukraine is still at a standstill, President Zelensky makes a trip to the U.S. to meet with President Biden. We have a breakdown of what he's asking for. That's coming up. As we go to break, here's your first look at what's coming up on Good Morning America, starting at 7. In this morning's GMA First Look, a cautionary tale about missed heart attack symptoms in women. I thought I was coming down with the flu or the, or the upper respiratory infection or something. After COVID and the flu moved through her family in 2022, 48-year-old Jenna Tanner felt like she was coming down with something too. I didn't want to tell my husband because I knew he would say we have to go straight to the hospital. Ignoring the pain almost cost the Oklahoma resident her life. Two days later, she says she passed out. When she awoke, she knew instantly she was having a massive heart attack. And this morning, she's sharing her story with GMA. Women can typically present with symptoms unrelated to chest pain. That's one of the reasons why they get downplayed. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll have much more of Jenna's story and the heart health symptoms all women need to know. With your GMA First Look, I'm Eva Pilgrim, ABC News, New York. York. Five hundred seventy nine breaths to show them your stuff. Every breath matters. Don't let RSV take your breath away. Protect yourself from RSV with a Brisvo, Pfizer's RSV vaccine. A Brisvo is a vaccine for the prevention of lower respiratory disease from RSV in people 60 years and older. RSV can be serious if you are 60 or older. Having asthma, COPD, diabetes, or heart disease puts you at even higher risk. A Brisvo is not for everyone and may not protect all who receive the vaccine. Don't get a Brisvo if you've had a severe allergic reaction to its ingredients. People with a weakened immune system may have a decreased response to a Brisvo. The most common side effects are tired headache, pain at the injection site, and muscle pain. Ask your pharmacist or doctor about Pfizer's RSV vaccine, Abrisvo. Visit these retailers or find other retailers near you at abrisvo.com. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Sign up for the 4 News Now playbook at kxly.com. Is your home ready to make warm memories this holiday season? Call local family-owned Factory Rep Blinds. From Roman shades and screens to draperies and shutters, Factory Rep Blinds has every type of window treatment from all the major brands. Not only do they install at no extra charge, but they'll bring samples to you. Call for your free consultation at 509-327-9637. That's 509-327-9637. Call local family-owned Factory Rep Blinds. We do the work. You enjoy the results. Get your groove on at Mystic Walk Casino Hotel, Sunday, December 31st. You could win your share of over $15,000 in cash. Enjoy party favors to ring in 2024. Learn more at mysticwa.com. Whatever your plans are this season, do more in a new Chevy. Use your red tag bonus cash to get $87.50 total cash allowance on this Silverado. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. It's our Gutsy Hour with Olivia Rodrigo. Your new album is called Guts. Why that for your title? I think it has so many interesting meanings. Gotta love a four letter word every now and then. Uh, me too. Watch Kelly today at 4 and 4 News Now at 5. 
from 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. We're starting off this half hour with the 4 News Now story tracker following the stories people are reading about this morning. Toymaker Hasbro is slashing nearly 20% of its workforce amid an ongoing slump in sales. The company's CEO announced layoffs for 1,100 workers in a Monday memo to employees. Some employees will find out this week whether their job has been eliminated while the rest of the layoffs will happen over the next six months. Hasbro is known for making toys like Nerf, Transformers and Play-Doh, and games like Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and Monopoly. Well, winter is here, and the Davenport Grand is providing a fun and cozy way to enjoy the outdoors. The Grand Terrace Igloos are back for the holiday season and make a great date night or a night out with friends and family. The Igloos seat up to 6 or 12 with blankets, heaters, Bluetooth speakers for music, food, and drinks. You can see our KXLY Plus anchors Rob King and Sydney Berger. They went and checked out these igloos, and you can find their full story and a full tour of this on our website, kxly.com. And those are booking up fast, yeah. FYI. They're so cool. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> want to check them out. They are cool. Well, you're good morning, Northwest. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Natalie Grant. I'm Robin Nance. It is Tuesday, December 12th. We want to get right to Mark with your first alert forecast to get you started on this Tuesday morning. Yeah, we're going to have a bit of a gray day today. That low cloud deck that we have is going to stay with us throughout much of the day. If we do get any sun, it's going to be just snippets. Uh, 35 currently, 34 at a quarter lane. Again, you can see most of the snow has evaporated except for the piles of snow from yesterday uh, morning, and that adds that moisture into the atmosphere. So a little bit of fog in there, but it's been light fog so far in our region. Patchy ice still available in some of those outlying areas on treated roads. Uh, above average temperatures all week long, but we do have a, a chance of seeing some showers, rain or snow coming in Thursday morning. We'll talk more about that. Um, we do have the low clouds that are rolling all the way through areas of Bonners Ferry all the way into Spokane, Colville. Uh, we see those uh, long I-90 as you head west. Uh, 37 degrees. Again, our forecast at high today, 38 into Coeur d'Alene, 40 into Pullman. Looking pretty good there. Our day today. Yeah, the low clouds, not a lot of sunshine. We're going to have temperatures that are going to uh, warm up to 37 degrees and then cool a little quicker tonight than they did last night. And at the Breaking Now desk, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has arrived in Washington, D.C., and he's set to meet with congressional leaders and President Joe Biden today. Now, this is new video that just came down a few moments ago with President Zelensky, with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. This morning, Congress is still at a standstill over a funding bill that has assistance for Ukraine, Israel, and other security measures. Today's visit will mark President Volodymyr Zelensky's third trip to the U.S. since the start of the Russian war. He wants the U.S. to pass a supplemental national security package that would, in part, provide billions in aid to Ukraine. This is a time to really step up because uh, if we don't, we know what happens. Putin will be able to move forward with impunity. President Biden has asked Congress for more than $60 billion in aid for Ukraine, but many Republicans are pushing back, saying major concessions are needed regarding the surge of migrants at the U.S.'s southern border. Some on Capitol Hill say it's unlikely an agreement on immigration will be reached before senators are scheduled to leave the Hill for the holidays. Fortunately, this is about the only leverage Republicans have to force this administration to actually secure the border, and I think we ought to take that opportunity because this is our top our top national security and homeland security uh, priority, priority is to secure that border. Now this comes as more than 40 protesters were arrested on Capitol Hill just yesterday, demanding Congress not approve that billion dollar aid package, which does include more than $14 billion to Israel. The organizers said they oppose, quote, Israel's genocide and ethnic cleansing project in Palestine. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Sydney, thanks. A loss in court for Google over its Android Play Store. It took a federal jury less than four hours to unanimously rule that the store amounts to a monopoly. Google was sued by Epic Games, the maker of Fortnite, over the fees that it charged to developers. And in the coming months, a judge will decide whether to order charge or changes rather to Google's business practices, which could mean big changes for the App Store used by hundreds of millions of people worldwide. Now, Google says it will appeal this decision.
The Texas Supreme Court has reversed a ruling that would have allowed a woman to get an abortion under the state's medical emergency exemption. 31-year-old Kate Cox was trying to get an abortion since doctors said her 20-week fetus has a severe condition called trisomy 18, a genetic disorder that an estimated 90% of children die from before birth. Cox says her doctors also warned if she continued to carry the pregnancy to term, it could jeopardize her health and future fertility. There's no outcome here, you know, that um, results in us taking home a healthy baby girl. The state Supreme Court agreed with the state's attorney general saying Cox did not qualify for the emergency medical exemption. According to the Texas Supreme Court, when Cox sued for pre-authorization, her doctor did not say she had a life-threatening physical condition. The court went on to say it agreed that Cox's pregnancy has been extremely complicated. Cox's lawyers say she has already left Texas to get an abortion legally elsewhere. One of the men who was involved in a robbery that led to a shootout with police in Spokane last summer will be sentenced today. Christopher Gooch was charged with robbery. According to court documents, he was one of the three men involved in that robbery. Gooch and one other of, the, of those men were later arrested in downtown Spokane, while the third was shot and killed by authorities during a standoff with law enforcement that lasted hours. In news around the world, climate advocates and international negotiators at the COP28 climate talks in Dubai are bitterly divided. The new draft of the core agreement has dropped the mention of phasing out fossil fuels. It calls on countries to take actions to reduce planet warming emissions, which could include reducing the consumption and production of oil, coal and gas. Many climate experts have blasted the vague language and a lack of concrete timelines. Well, check this out. The remarkably well-preserved skull of a gigantic prehistoric sea monster has been discovered on a beach in the a county of Dorset in southern England. Now, the fossil seen here with Sir David Attenborough was, cur was originally spotted in the spring of last year. Its excavation and the continuing ongoing scientific investigation will be detailed in an upcoming documentary, Attenborough and the Jurassic Sea Monster. It premieres on PBS February 14th. Sure will be interesting. Dog owners who have been longtime users of Spokane's Highbridge Dog Park say it's recently become a bit of an eyesore. Take a look at your screen. The cost of this garbage at Spokane's uh, dog park there at Highbridge is why Spokanimal says it can no longer afford to operate the park. Dog owners say they've seen things like drug needles on the ground. And with the amount of garbage people have left behind, Spokanimal staff went from cleaning the park two to three times a week to five to six times a week. The shelter says it became an insurance issue. In November, Spokanimal let the city know it would no longer be able to operate that dog park. It was an insurance issue for us. And just as far as maintaining it with the trash and all the things like that, the cost of garbage and just overall, we just, we were not able to sustain going into 2024. Now it is in the city's hands. The Parks Department says it will conduct a full renovation of the park over the next two years. But in the meantime, it will continue to work with code enforcement to help with cleanup from any homeless camps that have sprung up. Good morning, Northwest time is now 637. Let's toss things back over to Mark Peterson with a look at what we can expect today, especially as we're heading out the door, getting on the bus, probably want to grab a jacket. Temperatures, they're mild for this time of year, but yeah, the kids are going to need a coat, hat, uh, gloves. Yeah, it's not warm. It's not warm, but it's not really cold. I'm just not <laughs> sure how to put Just be prepared, people. <laughs> be prepared. Grab that jacket, you'll need it. The One Spokane Stadium lit up for your viewing pleasure. And again, we've seen the snow now off the turf. A law banning conversion therapy in children will stand. It wasn't unanimous, but the U.S. Supreme Court said it will not take the case. We'll tell you why. Plus, new weight loss drugs can help you drop pounds quick. But what happens when, the, when you stop taking those shots? We'll let you know coming up next. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Plus. At Coeur d'Alene Wigs, we have that great hair day every day. Wigs are a great way to look and feel good in a matter of minutes. With over 60 years experience, we will help you find a wig that matches your personality and gives you confidence. Coeur d'Alene Wigs, where it's a great hair day every day. Sorry about that car accident. Got that insurance claim check for you. I got a call swap. You forgot your check. We'll make sure you get the help you deserve and we only get paid after you win. One call. That's all. 509-999-9999. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ring in the season with some Holly Jolly Jackpots at the Kootenai Casino in Bonners Ferry. Santa's got you on his list for Winter Wonder Spins and a New Year's Eve countdown to cash. Cozy up in a Kootenai Falls Lodge Room starting at just $79 midweek or upgrade to a Riverview Room for $99. Come celebrate all December at the Kootenai Casino. Call 888-YOU-ARE-LUCKY or visit KootenyRiverInn.com. Hello, I'm Diamond Dan Clark. And I'm Jeweler Jane. And, and we're, we're from, from Clark's, Clark's Diamond Jewelers, Jewelers in beautiful downtown Coeur d'Alene. Our famous snow promotion is back for Christmas. If it snows four inches or more in 24 hours on January 11th, 2024, all purchases made between November 21st and December 30th will be refunded in full. And that means all engagement rings, loose diamonds and gemstones, jewelry and gifts could all be free. Shop Clark's Diamond Jewelers this Christmas and let it snow diamonds. This Christmas, treat yourself or a loved one to a new vehicle from Finley. With delayed payments for up to 90 days and bigger than normal trade-in values for your old ride. Giving you plenty of reasons to upgrade to a new RAV4, Tacoma, or Tundra truck. And if you're looking for a certified pre-owned vehicle, we've got lots of great choices for everyone. I'm looking for something sporty and fast. Don't you have somewhere to be? Ho, ho, ho. Save big this Christmas with Bymart's latest membership savings book, posted at Bymart.com. There's 20 pages of great store-wide savings, including everything you need for the holidays. At Bymart, our members save more every day. At Coeur d'Alene Wigs, we have that great hair day every day. Toupees and wigs are a fast and easy option for men experiencing thinning or baldness. Jennifer and Sandy will help you with personalized styling to achieve your desired look. Coeur d'Alene Wigs, where it's a great hair day every day. Welcome back in. The time right now is 641. The United States Supreme Court says a Washington law banning conversion therapy on children stands. In a 6-3 to three vote, the court declined to take up the challenge to the law. Conversion therapy is aimed at changing a person's sexual orientation or gender identity. Now, under the law, a licensed therapist can discuss conversion therapy with minors or recommend it be performed by others, like a religious counselor, but a licensed therapist cannot perform it themselves. The challenge was brought brought by a practicing Christian who is also a licensed marriage and family counselor who helps clients with issues including sexuality and gender equality. Time for the 10 second takeaway. It's a Tuesday morning. It's cool, cloudy day. That low cloud deck is going to stay with us. So again, we voted. Grab a jacket on your way out. Really, it's going to be helpful. Our high today, 37. One of the popular weight loss drugs appears to have a new side effect. People will need to keep taking it or the weight will come back. A new study of the drug Zepbound, also known as Manjaro, found that people who lost weight while taking it gain about half of it back within a year of stopping the medication. For the first time in nearly 80 years, life has gotten worse for women in America. The Population Reference Bureau has been tracking women's well-being since the silent generation, and that's women born between 1928 and 1945. The Bureau looks at poverty, education, um, intersection political representation, physical and mental health, and participation in the labor force. The news for millennial women born between 1981 and 1996 is not good. A research analyst at Population Reference Bureau says, while there have been some areas of generation to generation improvement, millennials are the first generation of women since the so-called silent generation who are seeing declines in overall well-being that's based on their index. Not great. Good morning, Northwest time is now 643. It's the season of giving coming up later in the coming up rather after this break. We'll be showing you how one local hospital is giving back and spreading some holiday cheer this season. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Andy's Heating, Cooling, Electrical. Guarantees to keep your home safe and warm. Your comfort is Andy's priority. From installation to repair and even preventative maintenance. Andy's Heating, Cooling, Electrical. Your trusted carrier experts since 1972. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of them in a new Honda. Whether it's taking the gang to the slopes in an available all-wheel drive pilot, delivering presents in a rugged passport, or all in a few toys for yourself in a powerful Ridgeline. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. 
Lane Denture Clinic is locally owned and operated and has been providing personalized, comfortable, and satisfying care to our clients for over 30 years. Our licensed denturists are trained in the latest techniques in the construction, development, and preparatory work of a denture. Full dentures, implant attachments, repairs, fittings, adjustments, we do it all. Every denture is made to look as close as possible to your natural teeth. With our knowledge and friendly staff, competitive costs and quality of service, you'll leave Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic smiling. There's so much more than employees. So give them the health plan they deserve. Primera Blue Cross, with access to a wide range of mental health resources. Primera Blue Cross, always in your corner. Wow, it's literally the color of Santa's sleigh. If I was Santa, this would be my sleigh. So you just drive across the ocean? I don't know. Maybe some of us still believe in a little thing called Christmas magic, so... There you go. Enter to win a shiny red Porsche. Grand prize drawing December 28th, only at Northern Quest. Stay safe while traveling this winter. Before you head out, trust the First Alert weather team to pinpoint the safest times to go and exactly what to expect. 4 News Now First Alert weather, on air, on the app, and streaming on KXY+. 4 News Now is brought to you by Coeur d'Alene Wigs. Welcome back in. When employees at Multicare Valley Hospital aren't busy saving lives this time of year, they're busy saving Christmas for local kids in need. The hospital has partnered with Central Valley School District to give students and families gifts this holiday season. It's an annual project at Valley Hospital. Employees have purchased hundreds of gifts for students and families in need at Broadway Elementary and North Pines Middle Schools. Hospital staff buy gifts based on what the families say they need and want. This is the eighth year Valley Hospital has done this and staff say they look forward to it every year. We never get to see these families. Um, I mean, they might come through our hospital and receive, receive services, but we don't interact with these families. Um, but I think even without interacting with the families, like the employees are just so excited to be able to bless somebody else. Families will be given their gifts before winter break. And speaking of gifts, Spokane's largest all local winter art market called Bazaar is returning this Saturday. The three floors of River Park Square will be packed with more than 70 local vendors, as well as some live music, family friendly activities, and of course, some holiday cheer. It's a perfect place to find some gifts this winter if you haven't picked up all your gifts yet. Bazaar will be happening from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And we'll be live actually down at River Park Square on Thursday during Good Morning Northwest to show you much more about what this event has to offer. Very exciting. Yeah, there's some great stuff there. So much talent. Ah, and speaking of River Park Square, there's a look at it. That's Aww. where we'll be Thursday morning. That's where you find Santa and... All kinds of other goodies. The tree is amazing. It the Santa really looks is. beautiful. Yep. Who doesn't have a screaming picture of their kid with that Santa, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might have one as well. <laughs> she doesn't. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> also, <laughs> tomorrow morning, we're going to give you an option on how you can give toys, and then those toys go to area hospitals. So that'll be tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest. Now, today... Temperatures in the mid-30s. This is how our day is starting, and this is about an average high for this time of year, 35 degrees. Well, we're going to get warmer than that. Uh, we're going to get up to 37, but still above average temperatures not only today, but all the way into next week. Winds are going to be light. Things look pretty nice, but that low cloud deck is going to hang out, so we're not going to see a ton of sun. 26 for the overnight low. Again, a low cloud deck, a little patchy fog in some areas, depending on if we get a little clearing and we get colder, we'll see more fog. But that low cloud deck, sort of an insulated layer, keeping some of the, quote, warmth to the surface, and we don't have as much fog. Cloud cover and some snow showers coming into parts of the higher elevations of uh, Nevada and southern Idaho, making its way in through Utah. We've got a little bit of snow into areas of Kansas, 
that's the big story right there. We have a little bit off into the Pacific, you see there, that's coming our way, and this is the setup. So the low cloud deck we're going to hold on to, and that's what this white represents. As we go through, we're going to see some breaks at night. That could mean potentially more fog tomorrow because it'll get colder, but it's coming off the Pacific. This is going to be, again, Wednesday night, making its way through Thursday morning that we could see that off chance, that 30% chance of showers. Could be rain or snow, depending on timing and elevation. That pushes out, everything moves out, and we continue to be dry all the way through the weekend. Now, we look at our chances of rain, and Thursday's it. Everything else is dry all the way through the weekend. For today, we're going to have temperatures of 39 into the valley, 38 post falls, Deer Park at 37 degrees, yeah, near 40 in the I-90 corridor as you head through downtown into the valley. We'll see temperatures continue to be in the upper 30s Thursday, Friday, even into Saturday, um, Saturday or Sunday and Monday still above average with that low cloud deck continuing to be with us. So some gray days. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. We're going to be kind of stuck in this for a while. Yeah. All right. <laughs> right. Thanks, Mark. It's now just about 10 minutes before the hour. Your morning sprint is coming up next. Thank you so much for waking up with us on Good Morning Northwest on this Tuesday morning. We'll see you right after this break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Ace Hardware. Mesmerize her with Coast Diamond Jewelry from Tracy Jewelers. Coast is committed to creating fine, quality jewelry that is stylish, imaginative, and instills lasting memories. Mark your moments with the sophistication of Coast Diamond from Tracy Jewelers. My darling granddaughter, this camera was given to me when I was your age. May it capture your big, beautiful life the way it did mine. It's so surprising what the I'm adding Downy Unstoppables to my wash. Now I'll be smelling fresh all day long. Still fresh. Still fresh. Get six times longer lasting freshness plus odor protection. Try for under $5. Everybody and every girl. Is your home ready to make warm memories this holiday season? Call local family-owned Factory Rep Blinds. From Roman shades and screens to draperies and shutters, Factory Rep Blinds has every type of window treatment from all the major brands. Not only do they install at no extra charge, but they'll bring samples to you. Call for your free consultation at 509-327-9637. That's 509-327-9637. Call local family-owned Factory Rep Blinds. We do the work. You enjoy the results. Say yes to your health care story with Washington Health Plan Finder. You'll get help finding the right health care plan like Cascade Care. Start your next chapter right at wahealthplanfinder.org. Enroll now. Mesmerize her with Coast Diamond Jewelry from Tracy Jewelers. Coast is committed to creating fine, quality jewelry that is stylish, imaginative, and instills lasting memories. Mark your moments with the sophistication of Coast Diamond from Tracy Jewelers. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest morning spread is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It is 6.53, time to get you ready to take on your Tuesday in the morning sprint. The Supreme Court is being asked to weigh in on immunity regarding the investigation into Donald Trump. Sidney Charles has those details. But we have some low clouds and fog in the forecast. Let's get to Mark with what else you can expect. We're going to see that low cloud deck continue to really just keep things not sunny. It's going to be low clouds. We see that here all the way through Spokane. We've got thick fog that is just east of the Tri-Cities if you're going to be rolling through that area. Uh, again, today we're going to be above average. We're going to be in the upper 30s. Our day today, yeah, the low clouds, maybe some sun breaks, but not expecting much here. Air quality will remain good, and we're going to have a high today of 37 degrees. It'll cool off faster tonight than it did last night.
The special counsel investigating former President Donald Trump's role in the January 6th attack is now asking the Supreme Court to decide whether or not Trump has immunity. Special counsel Jack Smith is asking the Supreme Court to quickly rule on former President Trump's claim that he has immunity from prosecution of anything he did while in office, specifically his role in the January 6th attack on the Capitol. A lower court already rejected Trump's claim of absolute immunity, but Trump appealed. In response, Smith is now turning to the Supreme Court, completely bypassing the appeals court. The House has passed a bill aimed at improving health care transparency and affordability. The Lower Costs, More Transparency Act passed easily with a final vote of 320 to 71. Now, if signed into law, it would act like more of an enforcer to Trump administration transparency rules. It's supposed to drive down medical care costs for Americans at a time when inflation has such a strong stronghold on the economy. Now, Washington State Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers helped champion this act. The bill still needs to make it through the Senate before heading to President Biden's desk. The United States Supreme Court says a Washington law banning conversion therapy on children stands. In a 6-3 to three vote, the court declined to take up the challenge to the law. The conversion therapy is aimed at changing a person's sexual orientation or gender identity. Under the law, a licensed therapist can discuss conversion therapy with minors or recommend it to be performed by others, like a religious counselor, but a licensed therapist cannot perform it. The Department of Justice claims a Spokane property management company stole hundreds of thousands of dollars from a federal COVID relief program. Now, according to the DOJ, All Star Management, owned by Give Parker, fraudulently received funds from the Emergency Rent Assistance Program. That's a program meant to help tenants struggling to pay rent. The company received the money by saying more than 30 tenants were behind on rent, when in reality, all of them made their payments on time. This is still a developing story. We'll keep you updated as soon as we learn more. One of the men who was involved in a robbery that led to a shootout with police last summer will be sentenced today. Christopher Gooch was charged with robbery. According to court documents, Gooch was one of three men involved in the robbery. Gooch and one of the other men were later arrested in downtown Spokane. A third man was shot and killed by police during a standoff with law enforcement that lasted hours. In North Idaho news, an update to a story we first brought you yesterday out of Coeur d'Alene. The school board has voted to change its dress code policy. The new policy was created at the direction of students who said the old policy was difficult to enforce and had unproductive disciplinary actions. This new rule states students must wear tops that fully cover them and changes some of that language of the dress code that some said was directed towards girls. It also makes changes on how the dress code is enforced, including no longer removing students from the classroom for violating the dress code. Dog owners who have been longtime users of Spokane's Highbridge Dog Park say it's recently become an eyesore. Take a look. The cost of this garbage at the park is why Spokanimal says it can no longer afford to operate it. With the amount of garbage people have left behind, Spokanimal staff went from cleaning the park two to three times a week to five to six times a week. And in November, Spokanimal let the city know it would no longer be able to operate the dog park. Now it's in the city's hands. The Parks Department says it will conduct a full renovation of the park over the next couple of years. But in the meantime, it will continue to work with code enforcement to help with cleanup from homeless camps. Spokane's largest all-winter art market, Bazaar, returns this Saturday. Three floors of River Park Square will be packed with more than 70 local vendors, as well as live music, family-friendly activities, and of course, that holiday cheer. The perfect place to find some gifts this winter. Bazaar will be open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. and we'll be live at River Park Square on Thursday to show you much more of what Bazaar has to offer. And we'll be live with another check of the weather right after this break. Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. Roundups like an accidental savings account. I get paid every time I buy something. It's like a bonus for me.
Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls has been North Idaho's premier flooring shop for over 30 years. From remodels to new construction, they've got your home or business covered from wall to wall. Their expert design team will work with you to find the perfect floor for your lifestyle and budget. They've got the lowest prices. From carpet and area rugs to hardwood, LVP and laminate, if you can dream it, they can floor it. Dream it. Design it. Live it. At Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls. Hi, I'm Randy, owner of Ruder 911 Sewer and Drain. Sewer and drain cleaning at half the price of the larger competitors. 24-7 service for all of your sewer and drain cleaning needs in Spokane, 535-3136. We take a live look out there and you can see a little bit of that light fog and we've got the low clouds and we got wet roadways, a uh, bunch of them, I mean, in pretty good shape. They've been treated. Some of the outlying areas could have, again, some icy spots in places. Temperatures are going to warm up. We're going to be in the mid 30s. 37 will be our high today with, again, not a ton of sunshine today. We might see a little bit more for tomorrow. And then Thursday, we do have that opportunity or that chance of rain or rain snow mix for uh, a little bit on Thursday morning. As we break out Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's going to be mid to upper 30s, gray skies and dry. Well, thank you so much for starting your morning with us. We'll see you throughout Good Morning America with live local updates. GMA starts now.